Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, my last video got blocked. I shared like 10 seconds of the fight, and the zone don't play, man. They don't even let you, they don't even let you uh, screenshot their shit. But it's so easy to pirate their shit. But, you know, I got my zone subscription. It's not like I need to do that, but, man, a 10 second clip gets blocked. That's crazy. All right, so the big question is about Ryan Garcia after this his biggest victory against Luke Campbell. What's he going to do next? It's a very interesting situation that he's in because he has star power. He does move the needle in boxing circles. People care when he fights. So Golden Boy really has to sit down and think what the hell they're going to do next. Yeah, there there's a lot of options. There's the mandatory with Devin Haney. There's a big fight with Javante Tank Davis. You know, there's Tiafimo Lopez. Bob Arum is interested in making a fight with between Tiafimo and Ryan Garcia. He wants to make that fight. Feels it's easy work for Tiafimo. And he may be right about that. So that's the situation. He has all these options. He can get a world title shot. He can get a pay-per-view uh, showdown against a rival and a promotional rival. But after what happened in the fight, the def deficiencies that Ryan still has as a fighter, the flaws that he still has, I sense that Golden Boy is not going to take any of those fights for uh, Ryan. And because, well, to me, I think he should go after Devin Haney. I think that's a winnable fight for him. It will be very close contested fight. The odds will be close. It will be pretty much 50-50 down the line. Devin's coming off a, a weak performance. He ain't going to get hurt in that fight. He's no big puncher. If he loses, he'll get outpointed. He won't get embarrassed. Against Gervonta, very risky fight. He's uh, very upright. Chin's all the way up in the air. Defensive issues. He's going to get catched in that fight and possibly get knocked out. Or he knocks Gervonta uh, uh, Davis off. He catches him. So it's a very risky fight. So Golden Boy, you know, they got something here. They got a fighter that could... You know, make some big events, but is it smart for them to just rush right into a Javante Davis fight and possibly suffer a knockout loss? Go into a mandatory fight with Devin Haney when it's not the biggest fight out there for him. I sense Golden Boy are going to take their time. They're going to get more experience. They're going to do an in-house fight with possibly George A. Linares. That, to me, I feel that's the fight that's going to happen for Ryan next. Not a lot of people are going to complain. It's still a legitimate fight. A top lightweight in the division. And he'll get more experience in the process because that's what really what they need. They need more fights at the world-class level against former champions or top contenders. And then take their chances against a Gervonta Davis or a Tiafimo Lopez. Or the best fight that that's the best possible fight that he could win in Devin Haney. But he's in a interesting position. He don't need he doesn't he doesn't have to fight these guys. He's gonna be pressured to fight these guys. But in reality, he doesn't need to fight them right now. He can go in a different route for at least one or two fights. And then do a big fight uh, later later at the end of this year or early next year. I feel like that's what's going to happen. They're gonna uh, take their time. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna see the tape. They're gonna realize, you know what? Let's let's get this kid some more experience first. The Devin Haney fight could wait. It could be a bigger fight down the line. Same thing with Gervonta Tank Davis. Besides, it just sounds too good to be true that that fight's gonna happen next. That Al and, and Oscar are all of a sudden just gonna sit down and make a fight that quickly between two promotional rivals 
and two d different networks. To me, it, it, I don't see that happening. But if PBC is going to do business with Oscar, they have to be 100% confident that Gervonta Davis wins that fight. And to me, it's 60-40 in Gervonta's favor. But Ryan could win that fight. But he has to... Uh, he's got to work on that defense, though. Can't be taking those shots against a Gervonta Tank Davis. Can't get dropped hard like that and expect to... Uh, Get out of it because I don't think Gervonta is going to do what Luke Campbell did and just let him off the hook. So, very interesting position for Ryan going forward. I expect him to do an in-house fight, not uh, go after a world title shot. It, you know, you got the champions calling him out, wanted to fight him. Devin Haney really has... It's like his position is terrible. Like, gifted the belt. Nobody respects him outside of his fans. He's trying to get the respect, trying to get the fights. But, you know, he's in a position where he has to force a mandatory to fight him when it should be the other way around. It's a bad position to be in. But that's what happens when you get gifted belts on two occasions. And you have yet to fight a legitimate top lightweight in the division. It is what it is. Ryan's in a great position. He'll kill catch flack if he doesn't fight Devin Haney with Gervonta Davies next. But at the end of the day, people are still going to watch. He's going to sell tickets. And his next fight will be a legitimate fight. But it won't most likely won't be against Devin Haney or Gervonta Tank Davis. And that's just what it is. So we'll see what Ryan does from next. Yeah, he talks a good game that, you know, he wants the fights. I think the fights will eventually happen. But at the end of the day, the brain trust of Ryan Garcia, his management team, Oscar and Golden Boy, they're going to they're going to decide who he fights next and uh, give him the best route for his career. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who you think Ryan's going to fight next? Whoever it is, we're going to be watching. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.